Oh, I keep smelling and I'm like, I hear you. Oh my gosh. Like, Guys, he prepared. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Buck Culture. On this episode of Sunday Lunch with, we have Chef Eros. Is it, how do I say it? Eros? 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 Okay. Eros? I think I said it. He's from my homeland, guys. Yeah, I don't think I said it right. Yeah. Yeah. He's from where he's I believe from... I'm It's my homeland. <laughs> so there's, there's a thing that people know about me. So I love <laughs> Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I love Nigerian people. Not that I don't love other countries, you know what I'm saying? But I genuinely feel like some part of my life, some way in another lifetime, I was Nigerian. I really That's probably possible. I really, really do. Um so welcome to the channel. Thank you. Uh, first Thank and you. foremost. Please Thank you introduce yourself. Me to the good people over in our teams and our family and sure. who you are. Um, my name is Tolu Eros, uh, probably known as Chef Eros. I'm the founder and the executive chef at the Cookie Jar Bakery and Eros and Gourmet Foods. So, nice. Yeah, I am Nigerian, <laughs> but I love South Africa. I've been here three times now mm -hmm. and I'll, be, I'll keep coming back. What keeps, what keeps what? bringing me back? Huh? <laughs> First time I came for a social event, so a friend was having a party. Um, I'm just gonna go. He's getting and married. <gasps> oh my oh gosh, gosh, guys! I'm sorry. You I were getting stuck into the interview. I was like, I hear you talking, but what There's I food right in front of us. Oh, I, I keep smelling, and I'm like, I hear you. Oh my gosh, like, guys! He prepared. <gasps> The but bit like chef, you we've been waiting to have okay. this meal for a while, mm. and so for it to be prepared by. A native, I mean, by a chef, by basically my brother from, <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm literally super excited. So please can you tell them what we're about to eat? And um, just the basics around how you got to this particular. Okay, so I've made you a uh, Nigerian jollof rice. Um, it's a staple in Nigeria. Um, we love it. We eat it at home. We eat it at our parties. Um, so I've made the Nigerian jollof rice, but with an arrow spin to it. Um, so what I've done is I've made a carrot puree and so I put the carrot puree at the base and we've topped it with the jollof rice and some meat balls and then just some fresh salads, you know, just some lettuce and a vinaigrette just tossed in and all together is going to be mm. quite yum, I hope. Let Thank me you. Land. Thank you. I'm excited. We have to, we have to, we have right, to. let's go. Um, what was actually the question that we were, that we were getting stuck in and in the next minutes we got lost? I don't mind. <laughs> I think the interview is over now. Just <laughs> Carrot puree. Mm. Oh. just love that smoky flavor. Mm. Of it's called the party jollof rice. This one. See, I, I was saying when he was cooking it, I was like, it's burning, it's burning, it's burning. He was like, no, it's the smoke. Guys, oh my god, it's behind back. the camera. Mm. You see, this tastes <laughs> so good. So if we kind of rewind, step back into your journey into. Mm -hmm. Cooking, sh being a chef, what is your story? Because I feel like we had obviously our chat off off camera, mm -hmm. but just let the people know where did where did it all start off? Like what got you interested in food? Okay, so I've been doing this professionally for ten years. Um, I moved back to Nigeria in two thousand and eight. Um, and from I, from the UK. So I started international business management at the University of Wolverhampton in the UK. And just towards the end of my education, I was sort of, as everyone is, what, what do you want to do, what do you want to do? Whilst I was in school, I had done a number of jobs, you know, so I would worked in a bunch of different industries from real estate to sales, you know, marketing, yeah. and then in the restaurant industry as well, working as a waiter, into working as a bartender, into working in the kitchen. And I sort of just weighed all the options and I found that what I loved doing the most was working at a restaurant. And I especially loved the kitchen. But I wasn't professionally trained, so I thought, how do I, how do I get into this? So um, I, when I was f finishing up my university, my mom asked what I wanted to do, and she told me, look, I want to start a restaurant. She wants to start a restaurant, and she would like me to come and help her write the business plan and all of that stuff. So I came back to Nigeria. I moved back to Nigeria at the time to sort of help her set up the restaurant. Mm -hmm. But then the restaurant sort of just became me. You know, I, and I, I then eventually just became a full part of the restaurant, you know, um, I bought into it and then we sort of started running the restaurant. Two years later, I was done. It wasn't working out. Um, I was stressed out all the time. I was working long hours. <laughs> I was just like, you know what, I don't want to do this. So I took some time out and I went and did a bunch of other things. But then um, less than two years later, maybe like a year and a half later, I found myself back in the food scene. Now this time around, baking. Um, so I started a bakery called Cookie Jar and I started baking cookies at the time 
and then we went from cookies to cupcakes mm -hmm. to pies to cakes itself to dessert and so now we're a full-fledged bakery that does a whole bunch of like baked goods and then obviously food as well so in the food side i started doing canapes first and then i went into doing finger foods and then finger foods i then took a few courses and then i went into yeah. fine dining as well Nice. So are you looking to kind of spread your wings as far as not just aiming your, your business to be Nigerian focused or is that kind of the starting point? Definitely, definitely looking to spread my wings, which is one of the reasons why I keep coming back to Cape Town as well Because I mean I could do what I'm doing, um, aside from obviously the commercials that we had to shoot here I could have done everything else in Nigeria yeah. But I kept coming back because I also wanted to experience the culture here as well And then just uh, sort of get into the food scene a bit and see how I can, you know, spread the word of Nigerian food, and so that's why we're doing this. And mm. I think that's why we sort of I approached you uh, when we met, and I said, look, I want to do this because you know, um, Nigerian food is so delicious. Mm. You know, it's. That's how you guys to taste this food. <laughs> that's why it's I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also waiting for you to ask some things. I'm like, I want to eat now. <laughs> like, it's full of face. so much flavor, mm. you know, and um, it's one of those um, on on celebrated. You know cuisines mm -hmm. and i want to sort of get that cuisine out there mm -hmm. you know so by my dream or i would say my goal for the next year would be to be able to do a number of pop-up shows here in cape town okay um and maybe johannesburg as well where i can where we can actually sort of cater to a large group of people sort of doing a number of nigerian like a um, master class maybe not a master class but more of a sort of like a a, a nigerian food exhibition mm. you know like, so um where taste, taste, taste exactly okay. so it's more like a take there we go so more that's the word it's a pop-up taste tester right? oh, okay. so we have a bunch of different it's nigerian convenient. foods made in small little bowls so you He's can taste the food yeah sure of course <laughs> of course i, I mean i um and I love, I'm, I'm thankful for you guys for this platform to sort of get the word out mm -hmm. a little more about Nigerian food and to sort of get you guys to know that there is more to Africa mm. um, and in Western Africa as well. There's so much flavor, there's so much, you know, good stuff. This is just one in um, a thousand. I'm glad that you touched on the point of um, Ghanaian, you know, mm -hmm. West Africanness mm -hmm. community because then there's an age old tale about Ghanaian jollof and Nigerian jollof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who has the better? And it's tricky because when we watch get? it, no, no, I don't want to. I, I don't have an answer because this is my first time taking Nigerian jollof. And so I really can't say. And I might be biased and now. So, just like, <laughs> <laughs> so for me, I think what we were trying to understand is what's the difference. Either where did, not yes. necessarily where did the conversation originally Start, originally. Yeah. I don't want to say it's a war, um, but more the thing of where did the back and forth kind of start? Because we watch it mm. here and we're just like. Guys, but this is, it's, it's a meal, so yeah. it's right, it's really, it can't be all that different. Mm. But there is, it, it seems like there is quite there a is, There is, quite, there's quite a difference, right? So, John Fries itself actually originated from Senegal, right? Mm. Okay. All right, so I believe it's Senegalese and it's usually made like in a big, like, like large plate and it has like a whole bunch of different things, right? It's almost like and a paella, like a... Yeah, okay. so like a huge, exactly. Right, and then the Nigerians have made their version the Ghanaians have made their versions, the Ethiopians have made their versions, everybody's made their own version, right? Take now, the personally, <laughs> I tried all three. Personally, I prefer the Nigerian drama for us. Is this your unbiased opinion? <laughs> <laughs> right. And I'll tell you why. Um, I feel like the Nigerian jollof rice, because of, of the way Nigerians cook, it contains quite a lot of flavor, mm -hmm. all right? And then there is a certain thing we do to our version, which is what I did on camera, uh, which is to give you that smoke mm. feel. Like when that you was really, that you in the yeah, <laughs> that really takes it to the next level. Okay. Okay. Right. Plus, we also cook our base. So the tomato base that you saw that I used, I had to cook that for about thirty minutes, and that basically removes a lot of the acidity from the tomatoes, awesome. which the Ghanaians don't do. All right. And then our our jollof rice also. Contains a lot more oil. Not the healthier version, <laughs> but the more delicious version, right? Like, so, um, and and why it has that? That and you can see it doesn't look oily. Mm -hmm. Not at And that's because the oil, the, the oil base itself, is going to fry those tomatoes. Um, we use a lot of onions in ours, and so we're going to fry those tomatoes and onions 
all right and then we're also gonna fry the rice mm. you know so you're gonna get like a nice delicious jollof rice out of the Nigerian one not that the Ghanaian one isn't good the Ghanaian one is equally as good mm. depending on who's making it right mm. but then I feel like I'm amongst the different ones that I've tried and I think I've been I would say also because of the fact that I've been more fortunate to be Nigerian or I've been fortunate to be Nigerian and taste more Nigerian jollof rice I've had better better um, experiences okay. right so i'm waiting for the Jordanian jollof rice that will beat my Nigerian okay. jollof rice not to say that there isn't one yeah, out there yeah. but i just haven't had it yet and then land <coughs> is this a challenge or what i don't know <laughs> <laughs> no but you, you really no you because when we met him there so he was like to me he and i think we're talking to him we so and he's like, guys, let me tell you, I make a mean jollof rice. And you know, like when people talk about their cooking, yeah, it's, like, like, it's like, obviously, you, the, have really you know, obviously have to, like, use up there. Guys, I'm sold. It's I'm, it's, I don't know how to be trans, like, I don't even know how to give, like, I don't know how to express to you guys how good this is. And tastes. I think the thing is, he's touching all the points. Like my points, hot food, mm. Mm. and it's not too and hot. It's, I'm so sorry. It's, it's, it's just the right amount of mm. heat. You know? you use, but you knew, you used quite a lot of those papers. Yeah. But I pr like, guys, I don't know what magic yeah. you were doing in there. But like, usually for me, it can be very overwhelming. Yeah. And for me, I like hot food, but I need to taste the flavor as well. Like, yeah. I, even if my mouth is burning, I still yeah. want to feel like this tastes great. Yeah. Anyway, please just wrap it up. Let the people know where we are we looking up. Obviously. We are based in Africa, but there are other people who are watching this from everywhere. Um, and we're hoping that you're gonna bring. La 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 Nigerian family needs to come yes. through. My Hello number guys. is 073. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, where can we find you on the socials, but also just what can we look out for in terms of what you're working on? Okay, so um, on the socials, Instagram, um, Facebook, but mostly Instagram, um, mm -hmm. it's at Chef Eros, as my name is E R O S, so Chef Eros. On Instagram and I believe on Facebook as well. Um, but um, if you want to find me online, just Google Tolu Eros, Chef Eros, and there's a bunch of different things out there um, in the press. Um, and then, um, yeah, look out for Chef Eros takes on Cape Town. Yeah! Yes. Let us know, which you always to have to do. Watch, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please leave your comments below as well and let us know. Have you ever tried jollof rice? Mm. Have you tried the Ghanaian jollof rice? Ghanaians, mm. please come through. Mm -hmm. What are your, do you feel like this ain't what it is? Then let us know <laughs> what it is. Um, but yeah, let us know what are your favorite kind of African meals um, that you really, really have experienced. Tell us the stories as well behind behind those meals. Um, so yeah, guys, we already told you what you guys need to do. Thank you guys so much for watching, but most importantly, thank you very much thank for you. cooking us this meal. I felt the love in this meal. <laughs> I felt it. I bet bang our food, he was dancing here when we were playing the jazz. <laughs> what's, what's the new one? Yeah! What was that? Yeah! 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 <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. I also made puff puff, which I believe you guys have a South African version. I forget the name now. Part of the different cook, like it's deep fried. Yes, deep fried. Yeah.